Welcome to week number seven of my summer practice journal. Since I didn't feel 100% about my double tonguing last week at 120 BPM, I'm going to continue at that same tempo for this week and just work on consistency, especially with a back syllable. I'm also going to start liqueur number 22 and my goal tempo for that is going to be 112 BPM at the dotted quarter. My military band excerpt for the week is going to be Henry Fillmore's Rolling Thunder which I'm gonna try and get to around 138 to 144. And then I'm gonna continue to work on Joel Love's Liberation, and at the end of the week, I wanna try and get a full run. Thanks for tuning in, I hope you enjoy. Well, here we are, starting off another week, week number seven, I'm excited to get started. Today it took everything in me to get the horn back out and get to work. I did a little bit of fundamental work and then began work on the first page of the liqueur etude number 22. I started doing these boomerang scales last week and it's a really good warm up for my fingers just to get them in line with my tongue and in sync with each other. This was in the key of A flat major and I was doing it all tongued, breathing whenever necessary. I then went on to work through some double tonguing, and this is getting better and better, but the back syllable still needs some work and is going to take a little bit more time. You can definitely still hear some inconsistencies, especially with that back syllable, when I'm in a less resistant pitch, say C, B, or A. I've also found that I'm having a really hard time going anything above octave key B, just because the pitch starts to fluctuate with my voicing, and it starts to every time I hit the back syllable, so I'm going to have to figure that out with some experimenting. Corey Tude number 22 is in 6-8, and it goes fairly fast at the top end of 138, so my goal for the week is just to get it to 112, which I think is pretty manageable. Like I always say, on this first day, I try and take it really slow, getting lots of correct reps so that my fingers know what the right notes feel like. Today I start off with some long tones with some added vibrato going down and decrescendoing to niente at the end of each pitch. Since last week we ended off on the key of D for our scales, this week we are starting off on E flat, which is quite the difficult key in um, E flat minor, but we uh, got through it kind of. Since I didn't push my tempo on the scales yesterday, today was a little bit rough, especially when we got to the fully tongued. Um, pushing the tempo towards like 120, 128, 
um, that range was a little bit more tricky today, and that's just due to the lack of consistency. If you missed last week, each day I'm going through one key, so today is E flat, and we'll do full range major, full range harmonic minor, two octave melodic, full range major thirds, full range harmonic minor thirds, full range major fourths, and full range harmonic minor fourths. And I'll sort of change up the articulation pattern um, at each tempo level, whether that's fully slurred, uh, tongue two, slur two, slur two, tongue two, and then I'll always try and do full tongued. And I pretty much increase the tempo in increments of 10 or 20, depending on the scale. Today I begin work on the back page of Le Corps number 22. It's very similar and has a lot of the same patterns as the beginning, but it's just in a different key. This ending, I decided to go with crunch G and then go to front E and F. I'm not sure if it was the best decision, but we'll see how it works towards the end of the week once the tempo is up. I'm not feeling too great about Joel Love's Liberation just because there's a lot of material and a lot of things I'm still not fully comfortable with. As I listen to this back, some of my intonation is not very good, especially on middle D sharp. I also would like these low notes to pop out a little bit easier just because the dynamic is so low. One common theme throughout this piece is that there's a lot of motives that are repeated quite frequently, like the tri-um, ding, tri-um, ding, tri-um, ding, but they're just in different keys, and it takes a little bit just to get used to it. I started today off with some more long tones. With this, I'm popping up the octave and making sure that octave change is instant. It's very apparent that, especially coming back down when I release the octave key, that my air needs to be a little bit faster and concentrated. This is much more prevalent in this as I get lower, as I get down to E flat. Here I'm doing one of my favorite single tiny exercises where I use the automatic metronome change in tonal energy to bump the tempo up five clicks every time I go through this sequence. I like to start off with four single tongued eighth notes on my starting pitch just so I can get my tongue set and used to where I need to be tonguing the reed for the entire scale up and down.
I think today we got the tempo around 100, if not 106, and we're making a lot of progress in this, so it's nice to see. And then here's the very end of Joel Love's Liberation. This is going to sound really cool at full tempo, completely put together. Today's scale was E, and E major is fairly familiar, and E minor is very simple, so this shouldn't be too hard. After getting through all the scales, which takes a good lengthy amount of time, I finally got to work on Henry Fillmore's Rolling Thunder. The licks where it goes D to C sharp, back to D to C sharp, and then we have to go down to side key B flat, it gets a little bit tricky and is not going to be fun once we bump the tempo up. Thank you. 
I ended today feeling really good about this etude. I think we ended at 106, and I felt very consistent with the work and the reps I was doing. I like to do a lot of large chunks the day before, just to get ready for the full run on Sunday. Here's those licks that I was talking about. It's translated through a bunch of different keys, and it's not really fun because the accidentals carry through the grace notes, and it's a little bit hard to see. Every time you feel like you have the lick figured out in one key, it goes into a different key and you've got to figure it all out one more time. And then here you can really hear the out of tune octaves on E flat. Ugh. I warmed up today with just some basic arpeggios going through all the sharp keys. And then here's my full run of Henry Fillmore's Rolling Thunder at around 140 tempo marking. To finish off today, here's the core etude number 22. Not the cleanest run ever, but it overall went pretty well. Thank you for tuning in to week number seven of my summer practice journal. I wasn't able to meet all of my goals for this week, partially due to the fact that I was a little bit busier than normal, but also I sort of slacked off. I didn't practice as much as I probably could have, and that sort of uh, took a, a damper onto my, my Joel Love liberation and my double-tonguing work. But we'll go at it again next week. Please stay tuned for week number eight. Peace.